Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe and explain the properties of alcohol molecules. These include volatility and solubility in water. You should then be able to explain the differences in these properties between alcohols and alkanes. In the last video we started looking at alcohols and we saw that all alcohol molecules have the alcohol functional group. Remember that the alcohol functional group is also called a hydroxyl group. In this video we're looking at the properties of alcohols and we're going to compare alcohols to alkanes with the same number of carbon atoms. I'm showing you here the boiling point of the first five alcohols and the corresponding alkanes. Now the first thing to notice is that alcohols have a higher boiling point than the alkane with the same number of carbon atoms. We can explain this by looking at the intermolecular forces acting on these molecules. Remember that alkanes are non-polar molecules. So because of this lack of polarity, only London forces are acting between alkane molecules. London forces are weak and do not take a lot of energy to break. So because of this, alkanes have low boiling points. In contrast, alcohols are polar molecules and that's due to the alcohol functional group. Oxygen atoms are much more electronegative than hydrogen atoms. Because of this, the oxygen atom in the alcohol functional group has a negative charge and the hydrogen atom has a positive charge. Now what this means is that alcohol molecules can form both London forces and hydrogen bonds to each other. And remember that hydrogen bonds are relatively strong intermolecular forces requiring a relatively large amount of energy to break. So because alcohol molecules have both London forces and hydrogen bonds they have higher boiling points than alkanes with the same number of carbon atoms. Now the volatility of a molecule tells us how readily a molecule turns to a gas. So because alcohols have higher boiling points than alkanes this means that alcohols are less volatile than alkanes with the same number of carbon atoms. Going back to the table we can see another interesting trend. As we increase the number of carbon atoms the difference in the boiling points between the alcohols and the corresponding alkanes reduces. For example both methanol and methane have one carbon atom. The boiling point of methanol is 227 degrees celsius greater than the boiling point of methane. In contrast both pentan-1-ol and pentane have five carbon atoms and the boiling point of pentan-1-ol is 102 degrees celsius greater than pentane. Now we can see this trend even more clearly if we compare decan-1-ol with decane. Both of these molecules have 10 carbon atoms and the boiling point of decan-1-ol is only 56 degrees celsius greater than decane. Again we can explain this trend by looking at the intermolecular forces. Remember that in alkanes we only find London forces whereas in alcohols we find both London forces and hydrogen bonds. In an alcohol with a short carbon chain such as ethanol the major intermolecular force is hydrogen bonding due to the alcohol functional group whereas London forces play a much less significant role. So this means that short chain alcohols have a much greater boiling point than the corresponding alkane. However in alcohols with long carbon chains such as decan-1-ol the contribution of London forces increases and the relative importance of hydrogen bonding is reduced. So this means that the boiling points of long chain alcohols are only slightly greater than the corresponding alkanes. Now hydrogen bonding explains another property of alcohol molecules. Alcohols are highly soluble in water and that's because the alcohol functional group can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Again as we increase the length of the carbon chain alcohols become less soluble in water. This is because the non-polar carbon chain cannot form hydrogen bonds. So as we increase the length of the carbon chain, a greater part of the molecule is unable to hydrogen bond to water molecules. And this makes long chain alcohols less water soluble than short chain alcohols. Now in contrast to alcohols, alkane molecules are insoluble in water. Because they're non-polar molecules, alkanes cannot form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe and explain the properties of alcohol molecules. 